Hi there, welcome to the Harlingen Public Library. My name is Margaret. And I'm Jocelyn. So today we're gonna to be doing our paper roses made out of books, pages, and uh, this one is made out of, from a pin. We're gonna put it on a pin. Uh, this one's a pencil, and then this one's just a regular kitchen skewer. Uh, so it's National Library Week, so we wanted to do something uh, to like upcycle old books that maybe you don't need anymore or that you don't know what to do with them. So this is a good, fun, creative way to use them. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> so first of all, Jocelyn is going to be showing us how to make this. So Jocelyn, so take for, it away. For stuff that we're going to need, uh, of course an old book. Uh, so we just have some pages cut out right now. Uh, regular glue, or if you have tacky glue that will work also. Uh, a pair of scissors to start cutting stuff out. Um, and then whatever you want to start forming it on. So the one that I'm going to make with you all today is going to be with a skewer, but as we said, you can use a pencil, a pen, uh, even like a bigger dowel kind of thing. Uh, they'll work just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be folding these in half, uh, all at once, and just fold them in half, and then we're going to just cut them in half. So this paper rose is made with individual petals that we're going to be gluing together. We'll need maybe about 15 individual petals and we want to make kind of like an apple shape where the top is a heart and the bottom is flat. So I'm going to take one of these and just fold it in half where there's a letter print because that'll be part of their design. Mm -hmm. And the top, we're going to curve it like a heart, like the top of a heart. So you want it on the print, correct? Yes. Okay. Over the words. And the size, it doesn't matter? No, big petals, small petals, it'll all work the same. Okay. We do want them to be about the same size, but okay. they don't have to be perfectly uniform. Right. So we're gonna make all the petals about the same size and about the same shape. Kind of like an apple. Okay. Right, with a flat mm -hmm. bottom and then a little heart. So you can just use the same one as as your just to cutting. Okay, so just put it, put your the one that you just cut, right. trace over it, so that way you have almost all of them all the same. They could be a little bit bigger if you want a bigger rose, or yes, if you want a bigger rose, you mm -hmm. can use bigger petals or mm -hmm. just add more petals, like okay. make so make bigger layers, more, more layers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now that we have about, uh, about 15 individual petals cut out, uh, we're going to want to take a uh, pencil, the dowel, uh, even the pair of scissors. You can curl the heart part back because that's going to form uh, the petals like opening the way that they curl. Uh -huh. that way. Yeah, okay. So you can use anything, your fingers if you want just to curl them or mm -hmm. your pencil yeah. or like you said scissors or something. Yeah. Even to soften up the paper mm -hmm. a little bit. So it will be curled on the edges of the little heart. Okay, and now that we have all of those curled, we're going to want to take one of our scraps uh, that's a bit longer and we're going to cut out um, a rectangle, maybe like an inch wide and that's going to form the center of our rose. So now that we have a rectangle, we're just going to fold it in half. Hot dog style. <laughs> and we're just going to cover the inside with glue. We're going to be using kind of, kind of a good amount of glue because we want it to soften the paper and it forms almost like a paper mm -hmm. machine. So once we have glue all the way inside of this rectangle, we're going to get the end of our skewer, our pencil, pencil. pen, and we're going to put it between the fold at the edge of it. And, just and we're going to put a little bit of glue on the inside, and that's when we're going to start rolling it just around itself. Okay. So this is the inside of the rose. <laughs> this is the very center. Okay. So I'm just going to cover that inside part of the glue and I'm going to roll it around my dowel, making sure to pinch at the very bottom because that's going to be our main support for the whole flower. Okay. 
So now that we have our little bud formed, the, the inside of the rose, this is where we're gonna take every individual petal and layer a, a good amount of glue here on the inside of it, but not on the same side as it's curling, but on the other side. Mm -hmm. And that's where we're gonna start forming it around this bud, gluing the paper to itself. Now, can you use any kind of glue, hot glue? I'm sure like a tacky glue will be fine. Uh -huh. Hot glue, I wouldn't recommend because we're using our hands a lot. So you might burn yourself. Yes, it's, it's not um, as safe. What about Maj Paj? It's just almost the same as, as regular glue. Um, you can still use that? I've never done it with Maj Paj, mm -hmm. but I'm sure it'll work because it hardens about right. the same. Okay. So okay. wherever it's ending okay. at the bottom, that's kind of where we want our okay. panels to end to. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as we have all that glue on there, we're going to take it and it might seem like it's not quite bending the right, right way. Just okay. squish it in there and just don't be afraid to really just like... Okay, and that's where you up. can start moving them around to open the, the petal. And again, if that one doesn't seem like it's sticking, you just add more glue to, yeah, the, to the bottom like of it. like me. <laughs> and just start pressing it in. Wherever you see that this petal kind of ended up, where it's closing, we're going to want to put another petal over that one to make sure that it stays in place. Okay. So it's the way that a natural rose kind of layers it out, that's how we're going to do it. Yeah. So here in this, this little closure where the paper ends is we're going to put another petal over it. You don't have to use all 15 if you want a smaller flower. Mm -hmm. If you want a bigger flower, you can add more petals too. It's just like a really base number. I like some of the examples that we have here. This one's about a 15 petal flower. It's much bigger. And this one is less petal, so it's a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. you, know. you can always, if you want, like maybe for the summertime, um, um, you're having a baby shower or bridal shower or you can give these out to the guest or even you can make your own bouquet. This is something cute to do and it's also very relaxing. <laughs> So now that we've layered all of our petals, you can really see that it's formed a rose. Uh, if you need to, like maybe you're afraid that they might start peeling off, you can add another layer of glue to the bottom and just smudge it over that. Mm -hmm. By the end of it, we've added so much glue that when it's all dry, it's a really, really solid rose and it's not like fragile or anything. Mm -hmm. So thank you for watching. Keep on the lookout for more tutorials from the Heart Ranger Public Library. Um, and thank you for celebrating National Library Week with us. Bye. Bye-bye.